Lord is good. Marsh is everlasting. And it's truth and doing so all generation. I just say good morning to everyone. First give out to our Heavenly Father, whom all blessed the flow. We wish our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It is another day's journey. But I'm very glad about it. I'm so thankful that God allowed us to be here on this Sunday morning. Here we are, the first Sunday in January. June in June. <laughs> I see y'all all awake this morning. First Sunday in June, 2021. And God has been good. God has kept us now. So let's let's have worship this morning. Now let's have worship and praise. That let us let God know how thankful we are. Let, let us let God know that we're here on at 301 Wall Street Road. Are glad to be in His presence. So let us. Open up with that's right, this is a song and we'll shout a little bit and we'll praise a little bit. Amen. Amen. Jesus is all
come, Father God, with no shape, form, no fashion, no outside show. We come, Father God, just thanking you for another day's journey. Yes. Knowing we come this far by faith, yes. leaning on that everlasting yes. to everlasting arms, yes. knowing you never fail me yet. Yes. Father God, we come this morning thanking you for your grace Thank you, and thanking you for your mercy. Yes. Father God, thanking you for that grace that brought me, that grace that taught me, and that grace that's going to carry me on home. Father God, thanking you for being our light and our guide and our comforter on this teacher's journey. Knowing you are my light and my salvation, whom should I fear? A present help in time of trouble. That help that helped me on my way and helped me on my journey. Father God, I just need you to help me. Father God, I need you to help me when I'm tired and weak. Yeah, I just need you to help me on my way and help me on my journey. Yeah, Father God, I need you to help me when I'm worried. Yeah. I just need you to help me on my way, help me on this journey. Yeah. Father God, I need you to help me when I'm broken yeah. and need of fixing. Yeah. I just need you to help me on my way, yeah. help me on this journey. Yeah. Now, Father God, we come, Father God, ask you to have a special blessing on our congregation individually yeah. as well as collectively. Have a special blessing for those that are sick and shut in. And have a special blessing for those that may be going through bereavement. And for those that may be going through bereavement, help them understand that you told Job that the good Lord give it and the good Lord take it away. Blessed be in the name of the Lord. And now, Father God, we come just ask you to have a special blessing on all those that stand in need of prayer. Father God, remember our first responders and the medical personnel in the land this morning. Father God, have a special blessing on them for going through all the uncertainty and turmoil that's going on with the affliction in the nation. But Father God, we just come thanking you for being with us with all the protests in the land. Thanking you for being with us with all the injustice and police brutality going on in the land, Father God. But Father God, we come this morning, you're God that work all things together for good. For those who love him in a call according to his purpose. Now, Father God, we come now asking you to prepare our mind, body, soul, and spirit as we prepare to break the bread of life and drink the fruit of the vine. Yeah. For our will to be done, knowing your will we be, will be done as we do our Father's business this morning. Yes, now, Father God, have a special blessing for all those out there on the dangerous highways of our yes. Remember those behind nursing homes and hospitals walking this morning. And have a special blessing for those behind jail cells and prison cells walking. We renew faith and hope in our Lord Jesus the Christ. But Father God, we come this morning knowing there's someone out there that's burned down today. Father God, let them know that you are a burden bearer, that you'll make that your peace for that burden to be light. Father God, we know there's someone out there this morning going through trials and tribulations. But Father God, let them know they must trust in you and lean on you from the everlasting to the everlasting arm. Knowing that they must trust in the Lord with all their heart and lean not to thy own and understand. Acknowledge him and he will direct thy path. Father God, we ask you to rain on all our illnesses and rain, rain on all our diseases. And have special blessing for all those on that bed of affliction this morning. And Father God, for those on that bed of affliction this morning, let them know that we can man do for a night. But joy, that joy do come within the morning. Knowing there's peace in the midst of the storm. Yes, Knowing the race is not always given to the strong or the yes. swift, but to the one who endures. And church, this morning we must learn to press on, church. Yes. Press on, church. Yes. Knowing we have fought the good fight. Yes. We finished our course. And that's so all we kept the faith. Yes. Now, Father God, we come knowing that Jesus is still in the Savior. Yes. 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 That same Jesus, our hope for tomorrow, yes. who has a divine plan. For the divine purpose. Who sits high and looks low and watches over his youth. Father God, we pray that our youth learn to walk by faith and not by sight. And keep thy changing hand in his unchanging hand. Knowing that Satan is out to seek, kill, and destroy. But even though we know he's a defeated foe. Now, Father God, I have a special message for the men and women on the battlefield this morning. Let the men and women on the battlefield know that the vengeance is not theirs, it's the Lord. Knowing that they learn to Keep their unchanging hand and his unchanging hand, they will be all right, Father yeah. God. Knowing that no weapon formed against them shall prosper. Because if God is for you, he'll be against you. Yeah, and I have a special blessing each and every preacher of the gospel this morning. 
Father God, we pray that Reverend Daniels come forward to preach God's word. Yeah. Reverend Daniels, preach God's word. Yeah. And if you preach God's word, souls will be saved. Yeah. Now, Father God, we come this morning thanking you for letting us separate us from the love of God. Yeah. Nor life, nor death, nor death, nor height, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers to be in high places. Yeah. Nothing, nothing that is present or nothing that is yet to come. Father God, we just want to say thank you this morning. But I understand of the worship of most all the part of the sir. But most all, Father God, thank you for letting us become amongst the most consecrated walls. Yes. Just to honor and praise thy holy and divine. Yes. In Jesus' name I do pray. Amen. Amen.
into the house of the Lord. Amen. 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 It is time for our morning scripture reading from the pulpit. Amen. Amen. So I ask that you turn with me to Jonah, the third chapter. And we will read this chapter, or I shall read this in chapter in its entirety. Amen. 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 That is Jonah, the third chapter, verses 1 through 10. Amen. And the word of God reads, And the word of the Lord came unto me, Jonah the second time saying arise go into Nebuchadnezzar the city the great city and preach unto the preaching that I bid thee so Jonah arose and went unto Nineveh according to the word of the Lord now Nineveh was an exceeding exceeding great city of three days journey and Jonah began to enter into the city a day's journey and he cried and he said Yet forty days, and Nivea shall be overthrown. So the people of Nivea believed God and proclaimed a fast and put on sackcloth from the greatest of them even to the least of them. For word came unto the king of Nivea, and he arose from his throne, and he laid his robe from him, and he covered him with sackcloth and sat in ashes. And he caused it to be proclaimed and published through Nivea by the decree of the king and his nobles, saying, Let neither man nor beast, herd nor flock, taste anything. Let them not feed, not drink water, but let man and beast be covered with sackcloth and cry the mag mag mightily. Let them cry mightily unto God. Yea, let them turn everyone from his evil way mm -hmm. and from the violence that is in their hands. Who can tell if God will turn and repent and turn away from his fierce anger that we perish not? And God saw their works, that they turned from their evil way, and God repented of the evil, and that he had said that he would do unto them, and he did it not. Amen. 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 The word of God for the people of God, and all together the people of God say, Amen. 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 Let us pray. O oh, gracious Heavenly Father, we come to you as humble as we know how, Lord God. Yeah. We come to you with thanksgiving upon our heart, Lord God. Mm -hmm. Thank you for letting us rise again to lift up thy name, Lord yeah. God. Thank you for allowing us to come together as one in fellowship, Lord God. Yeah, Lord God, we pray for unity in this day, Lord God. Yeah. We pray for peace in this day, Lord God. Yeah. We pray for healing. Yeah. Lord God, we lift you up, Lord God. Yeah. We lift your son Jesus up, yeah. Lord God. Mm -hmm. Lord God, we thank you for your son Jesus. We thank you for allowing us to be your humble servants, Lord yeah. God. Lord God, thank you for making a way out of no way, Lord yeah. God. Lord God, thank you, thank you, thank you. If I had a thousand tongues, I couldn't thank you enough, Lord God. But I say thank you, Lord God. Lord God, I ask that you just continue to bless us on this path, this pilgrim journey, Lord God. Yeah. Lord God, you know that we don't know the answer, we don't know why, we don't know when, and we don't know where, Lord God, but we know to trust you, Lord God. Yeah. We know you have our best interests at hand, Lord God. Yeah. Lord God, even when it looks the worst, we know you have the best, Lord God. Yeah. And we trust in you, Father, Lord God. We continue to praise thee, praise thy name, Lord God. Yeah. Lord God, we ask that you just continue to bless this community, this church, this yeah. city, Lord God. Lord God, allow this church to be the beacon on the hill, Lord God, that you have designed it to be, Lord God. Lord God, we pray for the angel of this house, Lord God, that it might come forth this few, a, a word, that somebody might cry out and say, what must I do to be saved, Lord God? Lord God, we pray that will, we pray that way, Lord God. Keep us, Lord God. Keep your hedge protection about us, Lord God. Keep all under the sound of my voice. And Lord God, we pray fiercely for those who are not able to be here, Lord God. We pray for the sick, the shed in, and bereaved, Lord God. Lord God, keep them, Lord God. Pray your mercy and grace upon them, Lord God. Lord God, and when we've done all that we can do here, Lord God, in thy name, Lord God, we ask that you just find a place about our throne, Lord God. Find a place for, around you, Lord God, that we can continue to worship and lift thy name, Lord God. Lord God, keep us. Love us, Lord God, as we love you, Lord God. Thank you. Thank you, Father. These are all the blessings we pray in your precious Son, Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Church of Atlanta. Amen. Church of Atlanta. Yeah. Amen. So good to see everyone this day. It's just a blessing of the Lord Amen. that we are able to meet back in this in the building. Yeah. The church might not never stop, but we have missed a gathering of the fellowship. Yes, Lord. And I told the people once in Sunday school, if, if you look at that scripture, and, and we should worship God collectively together. As though as, as that day was approaching that Jesus was coming back. So when we come together, we, we, we should change our hearts and mind worship to, to, to make us want to praise God like he's, he's looking at us physically in our sight. Yeah. He physically can see us. And so, so that will change us to, to make us want to have, a, have a, a better worship. Because I don't know about you, but once you got to change, I mean, you're younger now. Yeah, you, you ain't going to sit there and you're cute and everything. <laughs> once you got to change, yeah. somebody said, my worship is real. Oh, yeah. And, and we, that's what we're here to do, to worship God. Oh, yeah. It's pretty true. I know it's yeah. like raining outside, but, but I should be on the sunshine one day. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. So we were so thankful for our Sunday school. Oh, yeah. We had our... Yeah, yeah, our two classes today. Yeah. 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 That's a blessing. Yeah. Yeah. And I encourage you all to continue to pray. Pray for those who have not made up their mind to, to come back. Pray for those who are still struggling with the idea of gathering. For regardless of what they do outside of her, uh, uh, my prayer is that they will that they'll realize that God is in control. Yeah. 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 And let's continue to be a prayer for our, our sick and shut in. Uh, continue to pray for Brother Whitlock and uh, Reverend Forney. Yes. Pray for all those who are uh, who had made it up in their mind. We had prayer for the, the Quarles family. So the brother Quarles passed away and that sister Deborah's first cousin. So we had prayer for them. Then we had prayer for uh, Sheila Scott, uh, the Scott family. Uh, she passed this weekend. We had prayer for Bud Mountain. He passed a bit of a practical for that family. Only God knows, but we all have an appointment day that we can't get out of. Yeah. That's why it's so important that we should be ready. And you should not leave and not know if you're ready or not. Yeah. Because the Bible says clearly how you get ready. Yeah. Believe that Jesus died on Calvary's cross yeah. and he rose at 30 point one. Yeah. And you should have a turn. I ask real simple. So, so if you have questions about that, and then you, you got a question where you going. Uh -huh. So so you're asking them a question. Let, let us take a walk for now. Let us take a walk for now. Let us remind them as they come. This, this evening at 4 o'clock at First Missionary Baptist Church, the district will have a program. The Minister's Wives and Women's Union will be having a program at 4 o'clock. All those who came will come out and support them as well. Uh, and then let me also announce that. We will not have our Senate to be to you Congress this year again. We're not going to have that. We're going to wait another year before we have that. Let us bow. We told God our Heavenly Father, we come out and say thank you. We thank you for just another day of the journey. Father God, we thank you for being who you are. Now, Lord, we come worship you in our spirit, not truth. We come, we come worship you in our giving. Lord, we pray now for our, our behavior. Help us to have a giving spirit. Bless our hearts and our minds that we may be able to give in love. Whatever's taken up with you, step up that you. These blessings we ask about something. In Jesus' name, it was all set. Amen.
the reads. And the word of the Lord came unto Jonah the second time, saying, Arise, go into Nimrod, that great city, and preach. Go unto Nimrod, that great city, and preach unto me. I'm going to use that thought this morning. Another chance. Mm -hmm. Another chance. Yeah. Brothers and sisters, you heard folks say God is a God of a second chance. Mm -hmm. But that's not true. Because if we only had two chances in life, we wouldn't make it. <laughs> God is a God of another chance. Yeah. And another chance. Yeah. And another chance. Yeah. My brother says, I don't know how many chances you need to take. But we need more than just two chances within the hour. Yeah. And the text, the text shows us that God gives us another chance. Yeah. And, and that's good news. Because um, we, we have a God that it gives us another opportunity to get it right. Yeah. My brothers and sisters, Jeremiah says in Jeremiah chapter 13, can the Ethiopian change his skin or the leopard his spots? Then also, can you do good who is accustomed to do evil? In other words, my brothers and sisters, God gives you an opportunity no matter how bad you've been, no matter how far, how far you've fallen down. He gives you another opportunity yeah. to get it right. Yeah. Mm, I just say, come, come now, let us reason together. Yeah. Say the Lord, though your seniors are like scholars, mm -hmm. they shall be as white as snow. Mm -hmm. Though they are red like crimson, they shall become like wool. Mm -hmm. No matter what you've done, God wants to give you another chance. God wants to give you a fresh start. Because as I said last uh, Sunday, he takes those sins and throws them as far from the east as it is from the west. He takes those sins of that and, and he puts them in a bag and the tech in the Bible and sold the bag up. He, he takes our, our sins and put them behind his back. My brother says he had taken our sin and washed them away. Mm -hmm. God wants to give us another chance. Why, why does he want to give us another chance? Um, he wants to do three things. He wants to change our ways. Yeah, that's what he wants to do. He wants to change our ways. My brothers and sisters, if we change our ways, then, what is he able to do? He's able to change the world. Mm -hmm. Look at the text, sir. He wants to change our way. In Jonah, chapter 1, God ordered Jonah to go down to that city in Memphis mm -hmm. to cry out. Cry out against that great evil city. That, that, that city was great in God's eyes because he had 120,000 folks, unsaved folks. That's why it was a great city. The potential Amen. of souls being saved. Yeah. God told to tell Jonah to go down to Nineveh to preach. Nineveh, the text says that Jonah went the opposite direction. Text says that Jonah left Tarsha, went down to a ship, got on the ship, went down to the bottom of the ship. A storm came. Mm -hmm. Jonah says, they, the, the Bible said they all prayed to their God. Mm -hmm. But when Jonah prayed to his God, Jonah said, I'm the father. Throw me overboard. The Bible said God had a whale waiting on him. And there in the well, he is 
up at the bottom of the well. Each step you take, you go further and further and further and further down. That's what sin will take you, man. Sin will take you down and further down and further down and down. The Bible said that the chapter one of Jonah ends up in the belly of the way. But Jonah came to himself. Jonah prayed to the Holy God. Yeah. I'm going to say something God do. Yeah. No matter how far we fall, mm -hmm. no matter what kind of situation we're in, yeah. God is still with her out prayer. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so glad that Jesus is at the right hand of the Father, yeah. being like we did. Yeah. Give them. Another opportunity, dog. Yes. Father, I died for him. Uh -huh. Give him another opportunity. Yes, sir. I'm glad that we got Jesus as our mediator. Yes, sir. Make an intercession yes. for us and stuff. Yes. That's good news right there. Yes. When I think about having somebody on my side yes. begging for mercy for me, yes. reading my case for me, yes. oh, well, what God we serve and stuff. Yes. Yeah, yeah, well, I, that's why I said when I see Jesus mm -hmm. for myself. Yeah. I got some reason why I got to thank him for him. Yeah. Because he pleaded for me. Yeah. When nobody else would plead for me. Yeah. He forgave me. Yeah. When nobody else would forgive me. Uh -huh. He picked me up yeah. when I fell down and stuff. Yeah. Oh, what a God we serve. Yeah, yeah we serve a God that gives us another chance. Yeah. Another chance. Yeah. Yeah. Then the text, then the text. Jonah had come to the big city. Mm. Praying to God. So in chapter 2, so in chapter 1, we see Jonah running from God. Mm -hmm. Chapter 2, we see Jonah running to God. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, he prayed to God. Yeah. Prayed to God for mercy. Mm -hmm. And we, we serve a, a, a wonderful God. Amen. Come, come, come. Jonah had done wrong. Yeah. But before anybody criticized Jonah, mm -hmm. look in the mirror. Yeah. Uh, we've done the same thing. Yeah. We ain't perfect. Yeah, we, 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 we ain't all that down. Yeah. We, we, got, we ain't holding down. Yeah, yeah I don't care how we dress it up. Do we got seed in us too? Yeah. We're not perfect. Amen. But Jonah gives us an example of, of how good God is. Yeah. Yeah. God will hear our prayer. Yeah. Yes, God will hear our prayer. Yes, He'll hear our cry. Yeah. And oh, what a God we serve. Thank yeah. I thank God. That he heard Jonah's prayer. Come yeah. reminding me yeah. that he heard my prayer too. Yeah. 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 In chapter 2, Jonah was in the belly of the whale. Mm -hmm. But God heard his prayer. Mm -hmm. And the Bible said that God had the whale to, to spew him out of his mouth mm -hmm. on dry land. Right. Mm -hmm. Not just a way to have kind of place. Yeah. Chosen. 
I'm going to do what you told me to do. And that's what sin will do to you. Sin will cause us to, to do things that we know that they make good common sense. Amen. And because of that, sin will bring on sorrow. Mm -hmm. The sorrow will bring on sickness. Mm -hmm. The sickness will bring on suffering. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but well, that's what happens. Suffering will bring on death. Mm -hmm. you, you can't get around it. But my brother and sister, Jonah obeyed. Look at verse 3 said. So Jonah rose and went down to Nineveh according to the word of the Lord. Jonah, instead it says, but Jonah rose in verse chapter 1. It says, Jonah rose and threw the torch. And everything went down here. But now, in chapter 3, verse 3, he arose and he did his assignment. God changed his way. That's what the text was. That's what will happen. John, God will change your way. If you trust and obey, realize there's no other way Amen. to be happy in Jesus. You got to trust and obey. Amen. That's that, that's just real right there. Yeah. But my brothers and sisters, God wants to give you another chance where you can change the world. Verses one through four records the mercy God extended to Job. Micro. In, in, in verses 5 through 10, it reports the micro mercy God extended to the city of them. You see, my brother and sister, the first part of the chapter was about what Jonah did. What God did with Jonah. The second part of the chapter is what God did with the city. Yeah. Look at the text. The text tells you what, what the king did. How the king realized what was coming on. The word, the word of God should scare you. It should straighten you up. Realize that God <coughs> can bring his wrath. Yeah. Yeah. But God can also be a merciful God. Yeah. And he just trusts no way. Yeah. So to so my brothers and sisters, yeah. You can't worry about other folks that you have no control over. You don't have to worry about yourself. Jonah, all he had to do was preach. Regardless of what happened next was not his concern. His job was to preach. And I don't want to get into next week's sermon. But, 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 Jonah didn't want God's power, God's word, God's mercy to be real. The Bible says that, that his word will not go out and void. It will, it will not be in vain to stand there and preach an uncompromising gospel. We might not see it, but in God's own time, his word will change folks. Mm -hmm. His word will change the world. Mm -hmm. Because that's what he has promised us. Yeah. And so my mother says, this is you in the text. This is exactly what happened in the text. The world was changed. Mm -hmm. Why? First of all, because Jonah obeyed God. Mm -hmm. He went down to the city. Mm -hmm. And then and preach. He preached with power. My brothers and sisters, I'm going to speculate here, but Jonah should have been thankful, he should have been excited, mm -hmm. and he should have preached with conviction. Yeah. Amen. After coming out of the bed of a whale, yeah. been given another chance, yeah. Yeah. he should have been on fire yeah. for the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. He, should have, he should have told the sin. I don't know about you, my brothers and sisters, but if you don't straighten up, I just came out of the balance of the way. Now, I know what he can do. Take it from me, man. You got to change your ways. Or God will shorten your ways. Now, I, I, I can only remember, the Bible doesn't say what the servant will. But, but I can only remember, if, if he should be preaching the conviction. But I know what the what the word 
did do. The Bible said they changed. The Bible said they changed. And because they changed, God showed his mercy. That's what happens, my brothers and sisters. That's what happens when we do God's will. In verses 7 through 9 describe the seriousness as member conversion. It's about the decree of the king and his mother. He said, let neither man nor beast, part of what, taste anything. Let them not feed or drink water, but let man and beast be covered with sackcloth. And let them call out mighty, mighty to God. He said, the king realized how serious this was. And my brothers and sisters, we are living in serious time. Yeah. And, and we need, we need God's power Amen. to show up. But my brothers and sisters, see, we want God's mercy, but we don't want his word. You see, my brothers and sisters, God's word is what we need. Yeah. Yeah. God's word is like a two-edged sword. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it will, it will cut us on the inside, and it will change us. It will cut us one way and, and keep the pores out, and it will cut us the other way to sew us up. Yeah. That's what God's word will do. Yeah. Why? Because God is that kind of God. Yeah. The, the word of God will, will clean us up. David says, thy word is like a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my pathway. God, David said, thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against God. We need God's word. And my brothers and sisters, we need to know God's word. This is why we struggle. God's a holy God. And God is a jealous God. Yeah, yeah we talk about his mercy. We talk about how forgiving he is. How loving he is. God made some promises to us. Just as he told Jonah and Nimble, God has done the same thing with us. But my brothers and sisters, it's sad that we don't know God's word. God has given us another chance to come closer to him. It's sad to go through elementary school, middle school, high school, college, get married, raise a family, and don't know the shortest verse in the Bible. Jesus wept. It's sad to go through all that and don't, and don't know the most famous scripture in the Bible, John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, mm -hmm. that whosoever believed in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Yeah. How can you go through life and say he, he's my creator and maker, mm -hmm. that I'm dependent on him, that, that I can lean on him, mm -hmm. and not know nothing about him, mm -hmm. not know that he says, take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For my, my, my burden is life. Mm -hmm. How can you say that you, he's your shepherd mm -hmm. and not know what Psalm 23 said? Mm -hmm. The Lord is yeah. my shepherd. Yeah. I should not go. Yeah. How can you go through life talking about uh, I can depend on Jesus? Mm -hmm. And that's true, you can. Yeah. Yeah. But the question comes to mind can Jesus mm -hmm. depend on you? Yeah. He has given us another chance yeah. to, to worship him and spread in truth. Yeah. He's given us another chance yeah. to do his blessing with you. Yeah. But yet, my brothers and sisters, we come here with the same attitude, with the same behavior, yeah. not having changed nothing, not having nothing. We're grown closer. He, he, he separates us for a little while. Mm -hmm. Now, let's get close to him. Yeah. But yet, we come back now. 
for the same testimony. We got to have a new testimony. Yes. I don't know about y'all, my brothers and sisters. God's word is real. Yes. And God's word is powerful. Yes. But my brothers, God is a merciful God. Yes. He gave us all mercy. I don't know about you, I'm going to talk about myself. See, see, I've been in church all my life. All my sins have been right before the church. I can't hide under my sins. All the church folks know about me. But my brother and my sister, I still serve with God. Yeah. All right. That, that, that has forgiven me of my sins. Yeah. I still serve with God. Yeah. That still speak, put his hands on me. Yeah. But God is what man might think. Yeah. I know God is real. Yeah. I know he's a forgiving God. Yeah. I know he's a loving God. Yeah. And I know that he's able yes, yes. to use whoever he chooses. Because yeah. he used me himself. Yeah. And so I give him glory right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah I know he's real. Yeah. And I know God's a God of another chance. Yeah. Because he gave me another chance. Yes, sir. And I know he's real. Yeah. Because I don't need him called Calvary. Yeah. But when we were all at the cross, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Died for us all. Yeah. yeah, the Bible says he was stretched wide uh -huh. and hung high. Yeah. The Bible says they put the crown of thorns on his head. Yeah. The Bible says they pissed him in the side. Yeah. And the blood came slipping down. Yeah. The blood that washed all of our sins away. Yeah. I thank God that he died for our sin. Yeah. But he rose with all power oh. with the victory. Yeah. And because he did.
Amen. Say that again. Amen. Amen. Well, my brothers and sisters, I don't want everybody to understand that you have been given each day is another chance. Amen. Each hour is another chance. Yes. None, of, none, of us are, none of us are perfect. And my brothers and sisters, don't get mad because you got it right before somebody else did. You still had to have another chance. Uh, no matter how good we think we are, we still need another chance. And, and our job is to, is to realize that God is a God of another chance. And we ought we to shout about it. Because, because he could have left us after without giving us another chance. He, he didn't have to show mercy on us. But just as he showed mercy, next week's text is for somebody, some of y'all next week. That is a part of and mind for the Lord's Supper. Uh, we extend everyone the opportunity. The Bible says that the Lord's Supper is for the same folks. Now it gives us a perfect illustration of that if you read the Gospel, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. You need to read all four of them. And put them all together when they were sitting around eating the supper. They ate a free meal supper. And then before Jesus blessed the, the meal, the, the Lord's Supper, Judas left. Judas was unsaved. That's why we said it's only for saved folks. I want to help somebody out here today. I don't know Facebook. Everybody who's not saved shouldn't start part of the family. Only saved folks take the Lord's son. And that's why we said that. Don't say that about the domination. If you believe in Jesus Christ, you saved. It says something about saved folks. Well, we're going to come and read our scripture, and then we'll move on from it. Amen. Amen. I'll be reading Matthew, the 26th chapter. Amen. And I'll begin at, verses, at verse 24. The Son of Man goeth as it is written of him. But woe unto that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It had been good for that man if he had not been born. Then Judas, which betrayed him, answered and said, Master, is it I? He said unto him, Thou hast said. And as they were eating, Jesus took the bread, and blessing it, and, br and break it, and gave it to the disciples, and said, Take it, this is my body. And he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of it, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. Amen. 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 Church, amen. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let us bow. You told me, God, our Heavenly Father, we come down and say thank you. Lord, we ask now that you will bless this table and what it represents. Bless the bread that represents the broken body of our Lord and Savior. Bless the wine that represents the blood that was shed for our soul. Bless us all, Lord, that we may be, you do this in remembrance of our Son, Jesus, and you might be glorified and the church might be edified. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's say amen. 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 The Lord is good, yeah. as much as ever last. Truth endured to all generations. As often, he says, as often as you do this, do this in the rooms of him. This should take us all back to Calvary. This is what it should remind us of, uh, of why we're here today. It, it, it's not because we've been so good or we live so righteous. We all have messed up. But at the cross was all our sins. And because our sins was at the cross, his blood washed all our sins away. It washed past sins, present sins, and future sins. That's why we say in the song, nothing but the blood can wash my sin away. 
That's why we say there's power in the blood. And that's why we say, drawn from Emmanuel's vein. All about the blood. It's all about the blood. The blood is important. Because there's power in the blood. My brothers and sisters, he, he blessed and great. As he gave it to his son, take eat. This is my body, which was broken for you. He took the cup and said, this is my blood that was shed for you. He asked my brothers and sisters, we all should never want to miss taking the Lord's Supper. Might be the last time on this side, but one day we're going to be able to take it with him and he's giving it to us all. So that some of you saying, so oh, won't it be grand? Won't it be grand? All my brothers and sisters. So we get too quiet in the church sometimes. <laughs> this is why the Lord didn't give me that gift to sing. <laughs> I wouldn't know when to shut up.
had told my father God, here we are once again at the close of another service. We say thank you, Lord. Thank you for the visitation of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for our eyes are seen, our ears are heard. Thank you for the songs of Zion that have been sung, the scriptures read, the prayers prayed. Thank you for your word, Lord. Reminding us of your word. You are God, and gives us no change. What word of God we serve? Father God, we pray now that you allow us to once again do your orders for the Lord's Supper. And Lord, we pray that everything has been done decent in order, and you have been glorified, and the church has been edified. Father, thank you, O Lord, for just another day, Lord, that you have given us to, to do that worship and praise. Yeah. Oh Lord, now as we're ready to depart from the service, Lord, but never from our presence. Bless us now with traveling grace and arriving mercy. Now may the grace of God, the love of Jesus Christ, sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, rest, rule, and abide, henceforth now and forevermore. Let us all sit together. Amen. 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 Amen.